I'm going to show you a simple strategy creators, comedians, and other controversial figures are using to go viral and beat the Instagram shadow ban. The specific strategy in this video comes from comedian Andrew Schultz. I never had a grandma. Oh, uh, see, I love my grandma. She pa and my grandma passed away, so like my grandma it's like had super... the fucking audacity to die before me and me. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> before I can show you the strategy, I need to prove to you that he is in fact shadow banned and working against the Instagram algorithm. But before we do that, I need you to smash that like button until it turns blue. <laughs> Here's what's happening. Andrew Schultz is somewhat of a controversial comedian, but that doesn't mean he should be hidden by Instagram's algorithm. However, when you go to his Instagram page, everything seems normal. And when you press this little down arrow, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to show the pages of related Instagram creators, suggested Instagram creators. Pretty straightforward, right? So for example, here is another Instagram page called The Fighter and the Kid, hosted by Brian Callen and Brendan Schaub, two other comedians. So they've created a podcast and a page for their podcast. When I click on the down arrow, I should see them, Brendan Schaub, and Brian Callen, and Instagram doesn't get this right 100% of the time, but sometimes it's just a slam dunk. I mean, if these guys start an Instagram page for their podcast, it's assumed that the people that follow this page also follow them and other comedians of, of that nature. Here's another one, King and the Sting, and that one is Theo Vaughn. So I should click down here and I should see Theo Vaughn in the suggested feed. Theo Vaughn, right there. Now, Andrew Schultz has a podcast the name of that podcast is Flagrant, uh, Flagrant 2. Here we are at his podcast right here. Now, what happens when I click this down arrow is he doesn't show up. Well, it just could be a one-off thing, right? Here's Akash Singh. He is essentially Andrew Schultz's comedic partner. They do a lot of podcasts together. They're constantly together in each other's content. If you follow Akash Singh, it's a very likely you follow Andrew Schultz. I mean, the numbers are probably huge of the crossover audience between the two of them. Now, if we click down on his account, doesn't show up. There's the flagrant two podcast, but Andrew Schultz doesn't show up. And it's not just Andrew Schultz. I was trying to just look up controversial figures and I came across a guy named London Real. So London Real or Brian Rose, he posts controversial stuff. I think he did an interview about uh, the coronavirus and the real truth, that type of stuff, right? So here's his page, London Real. You click down, he's not gonna show up, even though the amount of people that follow London Real and Brian Rose are probably exponential. It should be a slam dunk for Instagram to figure this out. But what's clearly happening is Instagram is singling these people out. And I don't know if Instagram is single-handedly removing them from the suggested feed. I don't know if they have done something wrong within the algorithm and so Instagram sees their accounts as spam and has removed them. Doesn't matter, they're shadow banned. Now, if you want more specifically on the shadow ban, I'm gonna be going over that in my second channel, The Influencer CEO, where uh, it's a channel dedicated to me speaking about social media. So I talk about social media, the latest in news, online trends. I just started it, so head over there. There's gonna be a follow-up video to this where I'm just talking about the shadow ban. What does this mean for Andrew Schultz? Does this mean that all of his content is hidden? Well, not exactly. For all we know, he could just be getting removed from the suggested system, which alone is a big hit. Think about all the followers Joe Rogan gets by being suggested by other comedians or comedians being suggested to other comedians or following a hip hop artist or a vegan food page and being suggested. There's a lot of traffic and followers that come in through this system, right? So he's certainly missing out on that. And we're going to have to just assume that his content is being hidden if his profile is being hidden in the first place. So how does he get around it? It's simple. He uses something called the IGTV hack. The way the IGTV hack works is incredibly simple. It's so simple, you're gonna get mad at me. You simply post IGTV videos. But give me a second to explain. What happens when you do this is you're going to get the option to share the IGTV video to your Instagram story. Now what happens when you do this is it's gonna play a 15 second preview. You can see how it's playing a little preview right there. Now, if somebody watches three seconds of this 15 second preview in your Instagram story, it's going to count as a view. Now, what happens is Andrew Schultz posts incredibly controversial videos. He also has a lot of friends high up in the space. So when he posts an IGTV video and it gets 
say 100,000 views, 200,000 views. And then it gets reposted within the Instagram story ecosystem by say, Joe Rogan, Chris D'Elia, one of his comedian friends, their Instagram audience watches it within the story. They watch the preview and it counts as a view towards his Instagram page. Here's the part where I explain how this can apply to you and how you can use IGTV to get more exposure for your brand, your business, your community on your Instagram page. First, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by the Not Boring Discord Chat. That's right, it's my Discord Chat for this community where we get to talk the latest in social media, online trends, influencers, and more. Seriously though, I can't get anybody to join this Discord, so join the Discord. The first thing you could do is start taking your videos and expand them past 60 seconds so you can actually start posting them to IGTV. It's very simple. Say you have a 60 second video, throw on something that makes it 61 seconds so you could post it to IGTV. The second thing you could do is optimize the first 15 seconds of your IGTV video to be as juicy as possible. Remember, that 15 seconds is what's gonna be previewed within your Instagram story. It's gotta be a really nice hook to get people to click and go to your video. Now, what a lot of people do is they throw intros on their IGTV video, meaning the first three seconds is like a hello, and then they'll do some sort of static intro. Make it as crazy as possible or as value-packed as possible so people will actually click through and you'll actually see more views on your page. Last thing you can do is simply create an engagement group. So every time you post a new IGTV video, you'll share it to that engagement group and they'll all share it to their Instagram story and you'll instantly multiply the amount of views you get on your video. So not only will you be getting views on your IGTV video from the people that watch it on your page, but the people that watch it on your friend's stories or the people that come over from your friend's stories to your page. This is a much better version of an engagement pod in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below if you think the Instagram shadow ban is real. What do you think about this whole Andrew Soul, Bruh. Andrew Schultz, Andrew Schultz situation? Do you think that I'm completely making this up? Or is Instagram out of line and is this a clear violation? Oh, and remember to be on the lookout for that new video coming to my second YouTube channel where I just go into the shadow ban, explaining it a little bit further and debunking this whole thing. See you guys in the next one. Peace.